up everybody. I said I was going to do a college football full video to recap rivalry week and the effect on the college football playoff rankings. There was a lot of effect today, but the Iron Bowl, the game of the year in my opinion so far, needed a video of its own. 48-45 War Eagle takes down the Crimson Tide. And the best part about it is there will not be a Clemson, Alabama round five. And just for parody's sake and just something different, it's nice to see Alabama Goliath uh, get slayed. I realize that they did not have Tua Tonga Bailoa, but Matt Jones showed me a lot today um, after his um, bad, bad mistakes. Um, on two pick sixes, one really wasn't his fault, just bad luck, and one was definitely his fault. But, um, so they're okay there. They lost a bunch of their defensive players as well, but my hat's off to Auburn and Bo Nix, starting seven for 15 for 50 yards, and then just doing the little things, making the big-time pro throws when he needed to. Um, that second quarter was absolutely bonkers. It was 10-10, a normal game, um, but when I turned it on, 6:20 left in the second quarter, everything just started happening. The first Matt Jones pick six where it just floated on him, really bad, really bad decision, and just a really bad pass. And then, so that was 17-10 Auburn, and then Jalen Waddle, whose draft stock went this way, all 32 teams could use that dynamic of a player in their wide receiving room and special teams. God knows the Panthers need one, need somebody like that because all our guys, all they do is drop it. But um, we need offensive line more. But if we can fit him in, I will gladly take him. He had four total touchdowns today, three receiving and one on the punt return to get grab the momentum right back. This was a game of Ollie versus Frazier just 25 round boxing fight it almost seemed like so many momentum swings and then um, of course the controversy at the end of half I don't believe there was one second left as Auburn wasted two timeouts back to back and somehow um, some way uh, I guess the home clock operator was able to use leave just a bit of one second and then they reviewed it and apparently after a review, you have to allow the kicker to um, be able to kick. And he made it. It was from 52 yards. And as we've seen the past three weeks, nothing is uh, a given in the kicking game. I used to say that that's what I wanted to be if I was an NFL player. Now nah, I'm good. I'll be a third string backup offensive lineman and get my money because... Again, you're either the you're either the hero or the zero, and the Auburn kicker today was the big man on campus. He made four key kicks, 52, 44, 43, and two 43 yarders, all big, all needed, and it it's just it was amazing to see a kicker come up big. And unfortunately for Alabama's kicker, at the end he could not drill a. 30-yard field goal, doinked it off the uprights to to um, give Auburn the basically the win. Unfortunately, they had a chance to get the ball back with 107 left, but um, uncharacteristically, they had uh, those two turnovers and 13 penalties, a um, high with under Nick Saban. He was angry, and I've never seen a 12 men on the field on a punt like that, especially under Nick Saban. That stuff just not does not happen. They beat themselves today, and Auburn took advantage of every opportunity they had. So did Alabama, but Auburn held um, protected the ball a lot better, and they deserved that win. And uh, it just throws the college football playoff into a frenzy, and that's why I love sports so much because you never know. I think Utah, if they beat Oregon, I believe they will be in. But Oklahoma and Baylor, um, 
Oklahoma Baylor winner if Utah and Georgia lose. I think that Oklahoma Baylor winner will get that four spot, but who knows? Um, Ohio State looked dominant again today. They had a scare with Justin Fields, but he's okay. Um, and in fact, returned the next play and threw a touchdown pass, so I think he's okay. Burrow, fine. Three touchdowns, 44 overall. Became the uh, SEC uh, leader in passing yards. Um, Kirby Smart and Georgia won today by the largest margin of victory in that rivalry. Georgia Tech first Georgia, but um, lost two key players, one to injury, excuse me, and one to very, very stupidity. Their leading wide receiver uh, got in a fight and now is ejected. And DeAndre Swift with a shoulder injury is unknown. So that could really hurt them in a win or go home game against LSU, who looked very dominant on both sides of the ball today against Texas A&M. And then you've got Oklahoma, who looked very dominant, 34-16, not allowing a point in the second half. Utah, after a shaky first quarter where they had no first downs, um, ended up killing Colorado 45-15. So they, they pad their resume, but they need to beat Oregon. And uh, it was just an amazing day. And I know Auburn had an extra angel um, looking down on them. Their radio announcer and his wife, unfortunately, died in a car accident. So that was a good... Um, Good omen for them. I wish he was calling this game because he would have loved it. It was absolutely insane, bonkers, and I hope the college football playoff will match up with the game we saw today because that was insane. But I hope everybody enjoyed the college football Saturday. Hopefully Sunday is just as crazy. Go Panthers and Tennessee. Yes, I'm not a Tennessee fan. They're trying to come. I have a lot of family that's Tennessee. They're trying to convert me. So this is a different hat nobody's seen. But uh, I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving holiday. And talk to y'all tomorrow about NFL.